Welcome back to Fever. Back again with another video, and I'm back with another video, and I'm back with Shantice. Hey. And we're about to react to, or actually, we're about to do a BET Awards predictions video because the BET Awards is live on BET next Sunday, which is Sunday. Twenty third. It's the twenty third. So yeah, we're about to do our predictions video. So, the first category is the album of the year. I think I did this video last year, the year before, something like that, so be sure to check that video out inside of my previous videos. But, the category, or the nominees are Travis Scott, Astro World, Meek Mill, Championships, LMAs, uh, Everything is Love by the Carters, and Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy. I feel like that should not be nominated. What? Well, Cardi B, is she, are you that, serious? How long ago did that come out? I feel like that came out so long ago. You don't? I feel like it came out around the time Meek Mills came. His album came out. Did his? I don't know which one came out first, but I, I, I just, just I just out. feel like Invasion of Privacy been out for a long time, like it forever. Hasn't been out that long? It's been out over a year. It hasn't been out over a year. Yes, it has. Let me check receipts. Yeah, you want to bet, buddy? It been out since like April last year. April? I think April. Are you serious? I think so. It's been out so long. We about to check the receipts, y'all. <laughs> Invasion of Privacy. April 2018. Now let's really? look up Meek Mills. I think this came out at the end of the year. Maybe I'm just getting all my dates wrong. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. So Meek Mills came out in November 2018. Okay. And Cardi B's been out for over a year. It came out April 2018. <laughs> I think that the winner, sh I mean, the fact that Cardi B is even nominated, no, I, I still think Travis Scott should win. Travis Scott. Really? That's, that's my winner. I honestly. His, his album broke records, so. I mean, I just really have to like Cardi B. Cardi B, I mean, that's understandable. It been out. I mean, when it came out, like, be careful, I like it. She had a lot money. of hits. Was money on there? there? I don't know if money, Cardi, like. Yeah, that's understandable. But I'm going with Travis Scott. I think he will win, and I think he should win. I won't be surprised if Cardi B win, though. I won't be surprised if Meek Mills win. Everybody thought his album was like a, a comeback a album. Comeback. Yep, yep, yep. Video of the year, 21 Savage and J. Cole a lot. Cardi B Money, Cardi B and Bruno Mars Please Me, Childish Gambino, This Is America, Drake, Nice For What, The Carters, Ape Shit. To be honest, I have not seen half these videos. I feel like Childish Gambino should take that one. I agree. It was something about that video that had me addicted, like. <laughs> I agree, but again, how long ago did that video come out? That came out a while ago. That is so old. <laughs> a while ago. Like, the fact that This Is America is on this list with Please Me, Please Me came out like yesterday. <laughs> like, how can you have those two in the same category? I don't, I, okay. And I feel like Cardi B Money would be up there too. That was a, a good video. Uh, I believe Ape Shit was better than Money. I, I never even heard of that, so. What? Okay, anyway, so what's your prediction though? I feel like Child is giving me no shit. I agree. Okay, so the best collaboration, 21 Savage and J. Cole a lot. Cardi B and Bruno Mars, Please Me. Cardi B, Bad, Bad Bunny, and J Balvin, I like it. Her featuring Bryson T Tiller, could have been. Travis Scott featuring Drake, Sicko Mo, and Tyga featuring Offset, Taste. Oh my God, I like a lot of these. Cardi B and Bruno Mars. Please me. Please me. It just came out. Like, BT Award, how do y'all pick these nominations? But, um, I will pick, I can def, I really love the song Taste by Tyga and Offset. Uh, Sicko Mode is amazing. Ugh. I guess I will go with Sicko Mode. I think Sicko Mode will win. Uh, we're gonna come back to that one. The best group. City Girls, oh, Chloe and Haley, Lil Baby and Gunna, Migos, or the Carters. I didn't know the Carters were considered a group now. Are they speaking of Beyonce and Jay-Z? I'm assuming those are the Carters. Oh, they a group? <laughs> there you go, right? It just seemed like just a way to get him an award. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it. Like, Who are you picking? City Girls. What? Period. 
Better than Amigos? Better than Carter's? I mean, the Amigos has really been <laughs> the off, world? But no, because... Why is the, Ray Shivert not even nominated? I feel like the Amigos has been really on um, their solo stuff lately. So... So they still the best group. <laughs> I think so. I feel like the City Girls is like... Lil Baby and Gun? Okay. All right, sure. I'm going with the Migos. They should win, and I think they will win. The best new artists, Blueface, City Girls, Juice World, Lil Baby, and Queen Nyjah. <laughs> I love Queen. But if it has to be like a popularity thing, yeah, which Lil it is. Baby yeah. will probably take that. Lil Baby? Um, City Girls got a lot of like noise, but I feel like Lil Baby is like... Yeah. Selling out. It's a Lil Baby. Lil Baby is who I'm going with too. Sportswoman of the Year. Lord have mercy. I'm going with Sarita Williams. That's the only person I know on this list. <laughs> uh, Sportsman of the Year. Okay, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Odell Beckham Jr., Stephen Curry, Tiger Woods. Then nobody said nothing about LeBron not making it to playoffs, but that's what I'm going with. LeBron? Because I am a LeBron bandwagon. Honestly, I'll stop watching. It's all in basketball. Oh, okay. I I um I stopped watching basketball. I never watched football or baseball. So Tiger Woods is baseball. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? He's golf. Okay. And I think Odell Beckham is. I feel like he is. We're gonna um, find out right soccer. now. He's NFL. <laughs> okay. Anyway. That's not worse than you talking about. <laughs> so I. I'm, I, I stopped watching basketball because I felt like it got boring because the same teams kept making it. And then I look up and this year, Toronto, hello, how are y'all? <laughs> anyway, I'll go with, I'm I don't know. I'm going with LeBron. <laughs> sure, why not? And now we're on the last couple of categories, which is first, the best female R&B artist, which would be Beyonce, Ella Mae, Her, Salon, SZA, Tiana Taylor. Her. Her? Her. Really? Yes. She got like a different, like a unique sound. Like she don't sound like everybody else. I feel like Ella May a little bit sound like Beyonce. That's not a group. I know. No, I'm an accent. No. I thought her was a group. Oh my God. No. <laughs> I thought her was a group. A, no, she's a solo artist. You said scissor song. I mean, no, you I said... feel like Ella May sound a little bit like Beyonce a little bit. Like her sound. I feel like Tiana Taylor got her own sound too. I can't name you one Tiana Taylor song, but I like the way she look. Um, but I give her, I love her album. <laughs> I'm going with Beyonce, best female uh, hip hop. She's so overrated. R&B, Beyonce, R&B. I'm giving her that award because I feel like she sometimes don't get it because of some other people on the list. And this year, I think she better than all of them. So Beyonce, I don't. give it to the queen, Queen B. Her. The best male. R&B artist. Anderson, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Pac, I don't know. Bruno Mars, Charles Gambino, Chris Brown, John Legend, or Khalid? Chris Brown. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars, I think he, he, I think he won this not that long ago. It might have even been last year, but I think he deserved to keep winning it. I think he is the best R&B artist out right now. Okay, I feel like they go neck and neck. Chris Brown? Yes. I agree. Like, put Chris Brown personal life to the side, he's like a strong artist. Like, yeah. But I think Bruno Mars. Bad Chris Brown song. Can't, but I think Bruno Mars is just, I think he's better. Right now, I won't say better, but okay. Yeah, Bruno Mars, Please, definitely. No. Bruno Mars is like Prince, but like right now, he is. Okay, and it's like Chris Brown is like Michael Jackson, like right now. <laughs> that was no, I disagree. Yes. I disagree. Okay. Chris Brown, Michael you Jackson. You said Bruno Mars, Prince. I, I, he is very similar. Okay. You disagree? I disagree strongly. Okay, the best male hip hop artist, rapper. 21 Savage, Drake, J. Cole, Meek Mill, Nipsey Hussle, and Travis Scott? Hip-hop artists? Who's the best rapper out of all them? First of all, why is Drake nominated? Drake is more like... <laughs> R&B pop types. Agree. Um, if we talk about lyricists, I would have to give it to J. J. Cole. J. Cole. There you go. J. Cole, definitely. J. I would Cole. agree. And the best female hip-hop artist or rapper? 
Cardi B, Cash Doll, Lizzo, Megan, The Stallion, Nicki Minaj, or Remy Ma. I'm sorry, but I've never heard of Lizzo. two out of three. Two Who out of, heard of the third and fourth person. Megan, The Stallion, and Lizzo. I never heard of Lizzo, and I only know one song from Megan, The Stallion. And my pick, personally, if she can... My pick is Don't Kill Me Y'all, but... It's who you think will win, though. This is our predictions on who you think, think will win. win. So maybe yeah, I should have picked. Maybe I should have picked um, for that last one. Maybe I should have picked Drake. He probably will win. <laughs> or Nipsey Hussle, actually. They I might feel like. Down. What did you just say? Cash Dog was gonna win. If we're going off of popularity right now, like that's why they're gonna win by popularity. And you think Cash Dog? And I feel like Cash Dog or Cardi B because let's be real, Nicki Minaj's been behind the scenes. Like she hasn't really been like putting nothing really out there. Remy Ma is. And the tabloid for about to go to jail. And Cardi B and Casual is really on their music stuff right now. Really. Disagree. Because Nicki Minaj has been putting out a good. I'm not a Nicki Minaj fan, so I don't know what she's been putting out. If it's popularity, Cardi B's winner. That's the way I see it. And do I think she deserves it? Yeah. I mean, she put out more music than Nicki Minaj right now. And uh, Remy Ma, like, what in the world's going on? What I happened to the album? Cash I feel like she's dealing with that stuff right now, so. Cash I don't know nothing about. I mean, I know. I like most of her music. female but artist. I'm really like she a Cardi a, B diehard fan. She more of a female artist, Cash Doll, because I only know one song, and that's the most popular one. Which one? Ice Me Up? Run Me My Money. That's all you know? Run Me My Money is before she even put, like. Yeah, but it's, that's all I have. Is she more of a female artist? Yeah, but like you never heard of Ice Me Out. Well, I listen to her features on. Listen, oh, but. Are you not listening to her? She's from here. Cause she sing about. Or she rap about. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, that's our predictions for this this week's or next week's BET Awards. Be sure to leave y'all predictions inside the comments down below. I'm personally gonna be reading all y'all predictions. Let me know who y'all think go win between me. I'm saying her. I'm kind of still stuck on that. Really? Yes, I'm very stuck. Her? Her. Have you listened to her? Not really. I'm going to listen to her. <laughs> Why is that her name? I don't know. <laughs> Lord have mercy, but be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share this video on all forms of social media. Check out the Patreon link in the info box down below. And until next time, for Shantice and for myself.